right, we just finished lunch here in the Millennium. We're in the uh, in the food court area, and they, as you see from uh, some of the shots we took earlier, you can see how um, digital signage is being used to drive some of the content here, as well as here at the cafe. Talk about how that how that works within the ecosystem of everything else you're doing here in the building, and how this might have, may have helped the food vendors. Very good. Um, yes, definitely. Uh, um, the Millennium is a building with multi functions. One of the functions is welcoming restaurants, and uh, we have as well many other services that we offer different shops. And uh, these, these um, uh, entities will need to advertise food, uh, the dish of the day, the lunch, uh, or like here, cakes. Uh, and this information, you don't want to have the operation team to enter manually every time or every day. It's going to be too effort, a too big effort. So this information is automatically taken and actually automatically generated with artificial intelligence. So all, they have, all they have to know is what, what's on the menu for the day and it'll automatically exactly. generate. They type the type of dish they want, they describe it, they get an image out of it, the pricing, the description, and that is what our solution is pulling and displaying at the right time. And uh, uh, that's one example of how our technology is simplifying the operation, daily operations, to at the same time making sure that the services and the products that we can offer to our guests are known, are so that they are aware and they can enjoy it. Well, you have a lot of different people inputting content. Um, how do you maintain the consistency, uh, the look and the feel and the and the way the contents? Because not everybody's a designer, right? Mm -hmm. um, as we look at some of what are the some of what the retail stores are doing with signage here. Tell me how we're able to maintain that consistency. It's, it's an excellent point. It, it's right. If you think about it, we are in the same building. There are different shops, different services, but it's the same building. So it's important to keep the same image, the same branding, the same font, color codes, and etc. To to give uniformity. Now, this is what Aria simplifies, so that the user who really needs to explain his service or advertise his product is just focus on the product itself, on the price, on the title, but the rest, the template, the layout, the fonts are used. So they're, they're using something that's more like a, a text-based system that they're interfacing with and you're creating the, you're automating the ability to create the graphics behind it so it's presented properly. So as a, you know, I know that you have it here in the uh, in the, the hairdresser that you have here, the the dry cleaner that you have here, the fitness center the also has it. We're seeing some images here of, of how you're using in the fitness center um, and you've incorporated into a lot of the retail locations as well. And I mean, we're familiar with retail signage. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we see that all over the place. But in this case, this is a bit more sophisticated than the typical retail signage network. Well, it's sophisticated in the sense that it's not just focusing on retail. You always have the notion of um, experience, yeah. the notion of service behind. Uh, so you need to have the right timing to show the right thing. And that, that's very important. On top of that, these screens are here to um, inspire people. So uh, on top of displaying new products and services, we are also using for video streaming, so to display live events that happen somewhere else in the building. And we are also, we are also using uh, the system uh, for gamification uh, initiative. Uh, for example, you can uh, involve uh, the guests on, on betting or or, or, or challenges. Yeah, you, and you mentioned that they you had like a little foosball tournament where people were betting on who was going to win the tournament. You were able to broadcast it live, simulcast or stream, I guess, that content. So we're able to bring content that's broadcast level quality through the signage system as well as even H.264 compressed, highly compressed content through the same network mm -hmm. that all the digital screens, 150 screens can all display at the same time. Absolutely. The, the key word there is flexibility, uh, autonomy again, the team needs to be autonomous to switch on all these functionalities. But at the end, you want a tool which is flexible and provide what your audience needs. Is the magic Elementi or is it the Aria or what is it? What I is think it? it's always a combination of the two. The element is necessary to program to uh, to make to simplify this integration with streaming, with uh, gaming, and uh, and Aria is always in the hand of the end user, the, the the team who operates the infrastructure, because 
again, they are busy and they need to, to do things easily and, and reliably. This building, as, we, as I talked about when we first entered the building, is a smart building. It's got some really interesting smart features. We'll talk about some of those integrated features um, in the as we kind of close this. We're gonna we're gonna have a, a phenomenal view. We're gonna give you of uh, of the city of Lausanne uh, as we uh, finish this tour uh, later on. Um, but um, where are we heading next? Well, I think we are almost there. Okay. So we are gonna reach the rooftop and okay. probably shoot something. Oh, then we'll, we'll close with that rooftop shot. Stand by because we'll talk about some of the the deeper smart integration that's uh, part of this building as well as how amazing the view is that you get if you work in the Millennium.